Hello, this is Steve Wilson and the XCrafts ERJ family video tutorial series and in this video we're going to cover loading and saving flight plans. This is actually pretty easy. As you can see, I don't have any route loaded at yet, uh, as of yet. However, I do have waypoints entered uh, and that of course is my departure and my arrival information. And now we'll go ahead and add the company route. Notice I'm going to the Annette page, selecting Company Route, CO Route. And the route for this particular flight is Tucson to Tucson, K2s to K2s. It's already selected, but obviously if I'm in, I can uh, select different uh, different pages, different uh, rows, whatever. Uh, you're, pretty, you're probably pretty familiar with that by now, how that works. I've just selected that and it has automatically been stored. I go back to my route page my route editor, and I can prove it. Now, that's all there is to loading a flight plan. It's just that easy. Uh, the big thing to remember is that if you're loading something from another source, uh, SimBrief, what have you, not to pick on SimBrief, but uh, you want to be sure that you do not have any waypoints that include your airport or a, or a departure uh, procedure or an arrival procedure. You just want to connect the end of your SID to the beginning of your star. That's the whole point of a, of a route, uh, or what's called a company route. So what I'm going to do here, uh, for the purposes of demonstration, is I'm going to revise this route. I'm going to remove FANAC, select, delete, and now it's a new route. So let's go ahead and save this abbreviated route as a new company route. Go back to the init page. Now I'm going to save the route. It wants a file name. It will bark at you if you use the one uh, that has already been selected. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, enter something new and different. All right, I've got a name and I'm saving it. And now you'll see that this shows up in our company route folder. So that's saving a file in a nutshell. However, say for example we wanted to save the entire flight plan with, with the uh, selection over here to the lower right. Notice that the flight plan is not loaded. It lets you know that you have not executed the flight plan. You must execute the flight plan first before you can save the entire flight plan. That's what does all the linking together to make sure everything is continuous. So let's go ahead and do the execution. And I'm on the, the MCDU index. In fact, just for grins, we all know that we can execute from MCDU index. I've shown you in a prior, prior video how to load it from uh, Progress 1. But let's do it in the flight plan. Hit exec here. And there it is. Easy as pie. And notice that uh, we do have the new company route here. Uh, Skitter and Pickley. Uh, Fanec is missing in action because we deleted it. And that's all there is to that. But now that I want to, now that I have the uh, flight plan loaded, I can go back and I can go to the init page and I can save the flight plan. Again, same basic idea. Let's see. Okay, enter the flight plan name, save it, and now when we go back to the company route page, we can see complete. So we have two versions of the same flight plan. The only thing is that is that uh, Tucson to Tucson complete includes all of the departure information and all of the arrival information. And the only time that this is good for you is if you want to simply load the flight plan and forget about the FMS for the rest of the flight. You don't want to do anything with performance. Uh, you don't care about uh, any editing. Really, you just want to you just want to you just want to use the autopilot and go fly. That's a perfectly valid thing to want to do. And of course, uh, using a complete flight plan allows you to do that. And uh, that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, by all means, catch, uh, catch us on xplane.org and the XCrafts forums, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. 
otherwise, uh, thanks much for uh, watching. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.